That should start it. Yeah. Okay. And here he is. You've seen his videos on YouTube. You've read his tweets on Twitter. You've probably been to his Facebook page. It's Texas Auction Picker. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm at a secret undisclosed location tonight. <laughs> No, this is Michael, the Texas Auction Picker. I'm out here at a friend's house because I was delivering a little special something I got for him at the auction tonight. And so I decided to do the whole video right here in their driveway. And just leave everything on the truck. And if the lights could fall on my arms. <laughs> We're new at this, folks. <laughs> um, no, it was a great night at the auction. Um, nothing big again. No furniture uh, really to speak of tonight. But got a lot of really great little stuff, uh, flea market, auction kind of stuff. Um, and with Christmas right around the corner, the one problem is flea market's not going to be open until Thursday. So any of my last minute shopping, uh, just a great tip for everybody. If you're on Facebook, if you're picking and you're selling stuff, you need to be on, fa on, on Facebook, Craigslist, all that, of course. Um, but Facebook pages in your local community for reselling things. They are great they're really great resources if you've got if you've got stuff for sale um, and that's one of the things I'm going to be doing this week over the next couple of days I pulled a lot of stuff out of my booth this week and I'm going to just start listing it in my local community Facebook pages and try to make a few last minute sales in these last couple of days but I got some great stuff tonight we're going to go over that um, I'm going to start right here with this was the last three or four videos it's been coffee mugs every time so I bought this whole box for a buck and a half and this is the one I really like the most it's, um, it's a Mississippi State a little souvenir thing from 1989 probably about ten bucks on just that one alone but there's some other really good ones in here like this uh, this is from Green Mountain Coffee and then there's I thought this was really cute and you got Valentine's Day coming up so that's probably gonna be a pretty good seller and there's, uh, there's a few business ones here, Care Improvement Plus, Benny Keith Foods, they might be worth a little bit of something. But those, those, those three right there are the real, the real good ones. The rest of these are a little plain, although that's kind of interesting. Four Corners Cafe in uh, Embarrass, Minnesota. It's okay to laugh, Cameron. <laughs> I've never heard of that town. That, that might be a $10 coffee mug just for that reason right there. I wonder if they're embarrassed about it. We should ask. Um, this is what I was out here delivering. I got this. My my best friends, their sister-in-law, sister, sister-in-law, having a baby. So if it wasn't for this, I, that, I still would have bought this. This this whole box was four bucks. Uh, you got a lot of little blankets. You got some of those little things that you just throw over your shoulder, keep a kid from spitting up on your clothes. That's and, always vital. Uh, always. Um, and adults. But four bucks, and, and they're worth... you. I've had these before, two to three bucks a piece, and they sell really quick because people are always having babies and needing stuff like this. And apparently, you can never have enough of this stuff, right, Melanie? That is so true. Never have enough. I bought these. I thought I was actually buying just this one for a buck and a half. That's James Dean Dean Martin. Oh, I didn't even notice the little color rose right there. That's a little cool little picture. James Dean and Marilyn Monroe. Who did I say? Dean Martin. <laughs> That's not Dean Martin. That's Marilyn Monroe. Learn something new every day, folks. Now, James Dean and Marilyn Monroe, and this, a very popular... What were you saying about this a second ago, Melanie? Well, it's really resurfaced in the past year and a half, this Times Square kiss. They didn't even know each other, and they ended up kissing on the street. And uh, news articles have been able to catch up with them as they were older, and they really didn't realize the stir they were going to cause with this picture. So you're seeing this print all over the place. Target has them. Kirkland's has them. So this would be a really good find for somebody who wants to have something nostalgic in their home. And see, even, I believe you said, becoming an Internet meme where they were putting things like uh, Doctor Who and... And Rose, Rose. yeah, in, in the background. The background. Like that. So that's become a real popular picture. That was actually just a bonus, uh, both for a buck and a half, but um, probably flea market, three, four bucks a piece. Got this box of children's books. Children's books are always a great sell. More and more ad books, adult novels, are not 
becoming his greatest sell at the flea market. But children's books are always a great find. Uh, paid about four bucks for this. Loved this when I was a kid, the monster at the end of this book. Ten Little Fish, Disney Picture Dictionary. There's there's a good twelve to fifteen dollars probably in books right there. And just as a side note, Dr. Seuss books at Target sell for fifteen dollars a piece. Not in a package, per book. Per book? Dang gum. They're also very good sell I'd forgotten about this. They're also very good sellers on eBay if you've got bundles of them. They, you can get a couple of bucks a piece in a bundle of like eight or ten books. So if I've got enough of these, and i got a few more at home actually too, that's probably going to be a really good option for the Dr. Seuss books. No, they're very collectible. They, they are. They're really well, popular. it brings back family memories. Mm -hmm. This was a cute thing. I, only, I really only bought this because it was so cheap. I paid a buck and a half for it. But it's brand new. Designer little canister and mug set. It's not a really high dollar thing. but um, It's big enough to keep your coffee in. It, it, yeah, it's they're they're big mugs, so that's going to be a cute little thing. Let's see something here, cookies. Are they oh, sell the okay. cookies? They they sold the cookies. Okay, the the food stuff's gone, but still, it's it's a really nice decorative um, canister set. Probably put this in for eight to ten dollars at the flea market. I got I got a lot of new stuff here. Um, and this is this is one of the things that I'm going to be putting on Facebook this week. It's just an inexpensive little uh, soft tip dart set. Uh, I got five of these for a dollar and a half a piece. I'm going to ask five dollars for those, and I really think they should be really good quick sellers. And kids, don't try to impale your brothers or sisters with them. Soft tips or no? Uh, point the camera at me, just like, don't listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. Um, you don't need to ask your parents' permission. <laughs> uh, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are one of the best toys for kids at the flea market. Um, I, I, I think I sell these probably quicker when I have them than cars. And I've got 12 of them in a box here. Paid four dollars for the whole box. And I'm going to ask a dollar piece on them. And kids love stuff like this. And they're just uh, they're they're an inexpensive little toy. If a parent has their, their kid with them, you know, to shut them up or to reward them for being good, either way works, honestly. Or to encourage their imagination and their growth and creativity. Or because they're nagging their parent for something. Or to just shut them up. Exactly. Oh, I love this. This is Odie. Um, he's brand new, actually, or at least the tag. He was grouped in with all this other brand new stuff, and the tag's still on him. Tag's a little worn though, and his eyes are a little pink tinge there. I'll probably just take the tag off and throw them in the washing machine. Um, a really good tip: if you've got stuffed animals and you need to wash them, put them in a pillowcase, and you can throw them in the washing machine. Uh, I, I I don't know how many people I say you here say you cannot you cannot wash stuffed animals. Yeah, you can. Um, just put them in a pillowcase on a normal cycle. They clean up really great. Sounds like something Garfield would do to it. And, and in this case, you'd be being realistic. This was another really great little box. This, this stuff was all, well, no, not all of it was brand new, but these two things were. I uh, paid $3 for the box. Um, flying truck. I'm not, this is some sort of a remote control toy. I guess it, the truck actually flies, apparently. It says flying truck. But this, this is really cool stuff. This from Cars. The box is torn up, but it is brand new. And these are two paint your own statue kits. Well, it's one kit with two. You got Lightning McQueen here and Tow Mater. All your paints right there and brush. And I'm this is going to be an eBay thing right here because I'm I'm not sure what it's going to be worth, but it's I, I I'm going to guess probably at least ten dollars, maybe a little more once I look it up. And the really great thing I found was this. This is. I open it up at yeah right there. These little uh, learning laptop computers they they're always really good sellers at the flea market. I've even sold a few on eBay when they're complete. A lot of times they don't have the mouse with them, but this one it's actually attached and it's still there. It's actually one of the wheels on Lightning McQueen, but that's probably eight to ten dollars at least, and on eBay possibly a little bit more. I'm gonna move over to this side of the truck now. 
Uh, I've talked about it before. <clears throat> Ice chests, great sellers. I can sell this. I can put this right outside my, right out front of my furniture store. Uh, it's in fairly good condition. Wipe it down, clean it up a little bit. Uh, the red stuff off the there, a little degreaser will take that off. Uh, pay three bucks, and this is easy, twelve to fifteen dollars. Get that in just a second. Um, paid three bucks. Tucked a shot at the dark, in the dark on this since it is for PlayStation Two. But it's Dance Dance Revolution. Uh, got the original box there. Got the pad here and the game. Um, you know, anything I get, you know, eight to ten dollars at least, it'll be a pro it'll be a decent enough profit to be bothered with. Improve your dance moves. <coughs> yeah. Help pick up and chicks. Exactly. Um, but I'll just I'll check that this is probably gonna be an eBay thing. Let's see here. Don't forget the shoes. I'll get to the shoes. I'm, I'm looking for the stuff. I'm looking for the stuff that was in the entire bag with the shoes. I'm going to get up here and hopefully damage anything. That was in the bag. Oh, there's a the bag in the back. I bought this bag for three bucks and I really only wanted it because I have High School Musical uh, 3 on DVD. And High School Musical 1 and 2 is in here somewhere. There's two. And one, the first High School Musical DVD is in here somewhere. I'm a sucker for this Disney stuff. Um, the Hannah Montana videos, DVDs, uh, two to three bucks at the flea market. So that's that's my money back there. But there was also this pair of shoes. Uh, women's shoes, size eight medium. They were originally, if you can get that, you can get, oh, I forgot who had the camera. <laughs> you can get that. These are a Dillard's brand. They were originally $90. Uh, they were eventually marked down to 22 but originally $90 pair of shoes, and um, they're in real good shape. We're not worn much. The other one's in here somewhere. The heels are good, ladies. The heels are good. Um, but that's something I'm going to look up on eBay. Hopefully I can get at least 20 bucks for that. And that just leaves, you know I love them, toys. The one thing that I can always count on consistently to sell at the flea market, besides furniture, is toys. So I bought another big box, 12 bucks for this box. The box I bought last week for 12 bucks, I got about $40 worth of toys in, out of it. And the entire, the entire lot, all four boxes, um, there's probably close to $100 when you throw in the, the older stuff that's going on eBay. But this is another thing. When you get these, something with batteries in it, even if this, the battery thing, uh, the lid, yeah, the lid, thank you, not being there, just put some duct tape over it, put the batteries in it, as long as these work, um, depending on the theme, the size, these things can be worth anywhere from three up to close to ten dollars a piece. So, that's one battery powered toy, two battery powered toys, three, and right there I paid for the box and then some. Uh, I'm gonna, you're going to get some things that apparently have no, probably no more pieces to them. Uh, VTEC Sing and Discovery Story Piano. This will be looked up on eBay. Um, this, not battery powered, but it's Tonka. Still a cool little truck there. Oh, oh this is great. I don't get a lot of girls toys. But Yay, here we go. Barbie. Barbies. And just a lot of little pink and purple pastel stuff in here. You can see more dolls, brats, I think, there. Little uh, plates and dishes, looks like. But there's some cars in here, too. And there is going to be, you know, this is probably going to be another 30 to $40 box of toys. And a quick trip for a tip for those who do get girls' toys. If you get dolls and Barbie dolls and their hair is all matted, if you will go on Pinterest, there's a combination of um, shampoos and soaps that you can use that will make the doll's hair soft and look like new again. That way, whenever they go and pick it up, the little girl is all thrilled because she thinks it's a brand new doll. There you go, folks. Um, one other thing I want to mention, something I got in, um, in a box last week. McDonald's toys generally not, McDonald's Happy Meals toys not generally going to be a hot reseller. 
unless you just throw them in a bag like I do with the small stuff at the flea market and you put several for a dollar. But they've done over the last few years several times Madame Alexander dolls. And a lot of those you can get five, ten dollars a piece for. Um, I got two Wizard of Oz themed dolls. I've got them up on eBay right now I think for ten dollars. And those are really good sellers. So if you find any of those, uh, the Madame Alexander's dolls, they're, they're the ones you lay them down, their eyes closed. So they, they, it's, a, it's a lot better quality a toy than normally you would see in a Happy Meal. So those are really good collector's items. Uh, but that was it. Um, spent about $51 tonight. There is a lot of re good, really good resale here. Um, so thanks for watching the video, everybody. Um, make sure you're checking out the Facebook page, which I'll link below the video. Follow me on Twitter, at Auction Picker. Also follow my two assistants here, at Harness Yeti on the lights, and at Mella Froze on the camera tonight. And see everybody later. Y'all come back now. Yeah, come back now, you hear? <laughs>